All right, what is going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we got something a little bit more special and something that's a little bit out of my league. Now, I do watch anime, but not a lot. I'm not really attached that much to the genre. I know anime is very popular and I respect anime and I do watch some good shows. But when it comes to Funko Pops, because of money and obviously space, I don't really collect that much anime pops. I do have an anime section, but not that much. However, we do have a special set of anime Funko Pops I want to show you guys in this video. And this is no other than Attack on Titan. It's no secret that Attack on Titan has some very valuable Funko Pops. But let's just say I managed to get some of them right here. Now, quick disclaimer, this set is not mine. I have been given the opportunity to borrow this set just for this video. So once this video is done, this is going back to the owner. And that will also explain why, when you see the 360s of these pops, they're going to be in their boxes. Another disclaimer, I am not too familiar with Attack on Titan, and so some characters, I'm not going to bother pronouncing their names, but for the characters I do, if I butcher the names, don't grill me in the comments, just correct me. Let's start off nice and simple with a pop that I think is not worth too much, because I've, so I've sold this pop before, and I've seen it on other people's markets, not going for too much of a high price. This is Zeke Jaeger, and he is a Hot Topic exclusive, and to me, he just seems like the scientist character that you would see in those action movies that just be developing all the cool gadgets and stuff for our main heroes. Now, I'm not sure if this is what he actually does in the show, but that is just what he reminds me of, just purely looking off the pop himself. I like the outfit he's wearing, though. It's just like a combination of a science lab coat and a proper attire suit. Next up, we have this one here, Sasha Browse. Browse? Is that how you say the name? But she is a GameStop exclusive, GameStop US exclusive, might I add. We don't see this sticker much these days. But I said this when I filmed the TikTok for this set. Her outfit really reminds me of like a Last of Us character. Just like she's in the survivor mode. I like it though. It looks really nice. And I do a, and she has like the the grappling blade thing. I, again, I don't know the name, but it's cool to see Funko in, in integrate that into the pop itself. And then we have what I think was one of the coolest looking pops from this set. We have Battle Levi. Now the exclusive sticker of this box. I'm not entirely sure what it's exclusive to. I've never really seen his logo before. And ma mainly because we don't have, probably we don't have the store in Canada, but if you do know, let me know in the comments. Battle Levi here looks great because of the outfit he's wearing. He's got the grappling blade, as I'm just gonna call it that. The base is also really cool. It's like an explosion. He's like hitting the ground. The impact is just sending debris. It looks really nice, and Funko did a great job detailing this. And the cape just looks great. He kind of reminds me of Frodo because it's like a green cape. This is a common pop. This is Annie Leonhardt. Again, she's also got the the grappler gear. I guess it's a common theme amongst all the characters. Similar thing as I said with Sasha. Kind of looks like a survivor's outfit. I guess because Attack on Titan is technically about Titans attacking a city and uh, killing people. So I guess it, it looks it, it in a way. It makes sense. Let's start to look at some of the good stuff. And by good stuff, I mean some like a little more on the pricier side. Starting off with this one. This is a signature. This is Aaron in his Titan form, signed by the voice actor. Now, as you can see from the pop, it does look a little bit different from what the box art looks like. That's because I think this might have been the chase. I'm not entirely sure. But he looks way more darker here. His eyes are bright white. And he just looks like he's ready to devour people. I don't think that's what he actually does, but if I'm gonna compare him to another character, I would say Gollum. But Gollum on some steroids, because he literally looks like he's just about to mess some people up. And as you can see from the quotes that the voice actor wrote, I'll kill them all. Here's another one. This is Armin Arlette. Arlette, is that how you say it? And it does have a JSA certification. And you can see, there is the signature. An FYE exclusive, and you can see there is the quote right there, and most importantly, this was from Fan Expo. Obviously earlier this year I made like a very highly produced style video regarding Fan Expo, and he was there, the voice actor for this guy, I didn't meet him, but this is where that person got this pop sign, 
looks really, really fantastic. Now, obviously, I'm not familiar with the the, the actor or the character, so it's it slipped right past me, but. It was cool, knowing that this is where this signature came from. Our second last one on the list is Aaron Yeager himself here. This is a Hot Topic exclusive pre-release. I think this was 2014 when it first came out, so pre-release. I think that means it came before an official street date for the pop was announced. So this pop was worth quite a bit. From what I've seen, it's like worth around $300, $400. It kind of looks like um, Battle Levi in a way. Like this outfit is very similar. I guess that's a common theme all the characters are wearing throughout the show. But this is a good one. Unfortunately, despite all this protection, there is still a little bit of box damage. But then again, it is an old pop and I believe the owner got this from like an eBay seller or something. So, so has some dings here, unfortunately, there and then. But the best you can do now is to maintain the condition it's currently in. Last, but definitely not the least, this is the Holy Grail. This pop is worth almost three times the amount of my Captain Rex, which is my most expensive Funko Pop. I think a good portion of my collection here, I will need to sell it if I want to buy this pop. Also, a Hot Top exclusive pre-release, if you know the name, yeah, let me know, because I ain't saying it. But this pop is so expensive that the protector it's in is to have UV ray protection and it's very durable. If I take this off, see, as you can see, the protector is designed like this. It comes in two pieces to ensure its protection. And the pop itself is another soft protector. That's how valuable this thing is. Anyways, there you go. That is the most expensive one in this set. I am actually not sure how much that person got it for, but it did have the original price tag from Hot Topic, $12.50, probably USD. But that being said, that is the Attack on Titan set I was uh, able to lend for this video. Now, if you're watching this video and you're a big AOT fan here, let me know what I was wrong about. I'm pretty sure I messed up some of the names, some of the details about some characters. I don't know, this is kind of like a new video for me, I'm just doing it because someone on TikTok asked me to. So that being said, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more. If you want to see a set or some pops I may not have, let me know if there's someone out there that can, you know, help me out and help me show some of the pops in the video. We can make this a new series, but we'll see. For now, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.